G'day, I'm Murray. This is my backyard. And I've been meaning to do a beetle update for a while, but this morning I had a couple of visitors. I don't know what species they are, but they're a good size. Now just to run you back through the timeline, which never really fully taken you through, on the 17th of June this year, I set these beetles up. That was the, I put them in, get them sorted, forget about them for a while. 12 days later, I came across another four beetles out in the manure bins and I put those in. There was a little bit of interference there with a uh, rogue magpie visiting. I'm not getting the curl grubs out while you're here, buddy. So 36 days later, on the 4th of August, I changed the manure and checked on the grubs. This is where we get the count of seven, I think. Anyway, this is where I did that. 10 days later, on the 14th of August, I found 10 grubs and I went and I put some in the initial container and then they just kept turning up. So I, I set up two new plastic tubs, drilled air holes, pre prepped them nicely for a, a good home for these guys. Then on the 14th of November, I checked on the manure levels and how things were going in the various tubs. Two were static, the two Two clear plastic ones, clearish plastic ones were were fine, but the the ones with the blue lid, the blue lid had lost a lot of moisture and it was very dry in there, so it was a bit of a problem there. So I got another plastic tub, I made that up, and I put those grubs in there, those larva larvae. And this morning, this video won't go out for a couple of days, on the 3rd of December, I found two beetles found two beetles in one container and part of the outer skin of a pupae in another container. So I think there's a beetle hidden in there. So I'm making a home. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a home for the beetles, temporary. I will most likely release them. I just want to know what they are. Make a quick home. This is just manure at this stage in case they happen to be a manure eating beetle but I'm going to put some fruit in as well so I'm going to be transferring the beetles into this not necessarily if they are males and they're going to fight I might have to move the males into separate containers from each other other than that though this is my temporary home while we get more beetles uh, forming and yeah better get on with it Okay, manure, and this is some old potting mix I've recovered from pots. Oh, it's pretty dry. Oh, I could be a bit more generous. A few roots in there, not going to hurt. I'll put some cover in oh, leaf litter and such as well for them to hide in. Now, I'm not going to muck around with these beetles out of doors. I'm just going to grab them, put them in and get the lid back on quite quickly, if I can find them. Ah, we've got one right on the top here. It's there. That's the brown one, obviously. Okay, we've got a brown one. That is the skin of the pupae. And that's the piece that's sitting on the top of one of the other tubs of beetle larvae. One of our curl grubs. It's another 
skin off a pupae. The abdomen of a pupae again. I think the top half must get broken up and destroyed. I know there's a beetle in here. I've seen it. Okay. We have another brown beetle. So that's two brown beetles. Sorry, the fella. He um, he looks like he's got a damaged wing casing. Beetle, another brown one. This is why I'm checking on them. That's it. The yellow beetle, the yellow backed beetle, must have darkened up an awful lot because those beetles in there are all identical now. Okay, that's that tub sorted. One beetle, one pupa. Oh, that beetle's on his back. Okay. I've got to go get another tub. Right. There he is, right in the corner. I can hear it and see it. Ooh, it's a silvery little beetle, but still basic brown, same as the others. I haven't thought that one out very well. Oops, upside down again. You just shouldn't be on your back. And the question is, do I bother to check the last container? And I suspect I probably should. leaf litter. Maybe some green leaf litter. One visible beetle. I don't want to use mango leaf actually in here just in case. It might be a bit iffy. So this is leaves off a of monstera. And I want to be able to see if the fruit is getting eaten. Oh well, there we go. Beetle larvae. And the type of beetles, I'm still trying to get them identified. We haven't seen any tusks, but that's a good sized beetle. Um, it's not a small beetle, it would be a medium at least. 
for that family. Okay. They haven't eaten very much of the fruit, if any. So after 24 hours, I'm now going to release them so they can go and find some food that they actually want to eat. I'm going to release them into a manure bin so that they've got immediate cover and they can make their own arrangements later when they want to. There's one. I think it might be safest. Okay. Hear that? Okay. Off you go. Get yourself some cover. They're a little bit bigger, I think. Certainly noisier. Sorry, buddy. Oh, this is the one with the damaged wing casing. There you go. Come on, on the manure, not the glove. Bit of a grot. Okay. Let's double check now. I'm also going to put that tray over the top of them. A little tip. So that's the first four released. I think that they were from the batch of ten that I found quite close together. Just a feeling that they were also uniform and a bit small. I don't know, but I'm going to be checking every day to see if more of these have come up because there should be another half dozen or so turn up quite quickly, depending on what the other larvae are as well. Okay, I'll catch you later. Have a good one.